Hello friends, welcome back to the programming fields. I am your host Umesh Rana. Today I have come up with another featured video in the Livewire 3 CRUD series in Laravel 11. In the last video, we implemented this blog post search that means filter functionality. From here, we can search the blog post and this will filter the blog post in the real time. And thereafter, we implemented the active page redirection after deleting any post. So let's suppose if I will delete the post from the second page, then after the deletion, again this will land on the same page. Let's check this. Yes, you can see. We deleted the post from the second page and after the successful deletion, again we are redirected on the second page only. Now in the today's video, I will implement the sorting functionality in the table header. So that for the every columns, we will have the sorting or ordering functionality. And that can be work in the ascending and descending order. So after implementing this, this will be a complete data table functionality here. And there won't be any single line of JavaScript code. Everything will be managed through Livewire 3 only. So let's get started and let's implement this. So currently I'm on the post list component. And here we have the post list view. So for the every columns, we will have to add the sorting icon here. And for adding the icon, I will be using font awesome. So firstly, we will have to import the font awesome CDN. So let's check out the official documentation of font awesome. And let's search for the font awesome 6 CDN because currently we have the latest version as font awesome 6. So I will just copy the CDN. So from this cdnjs.com, I will just copy this all.mean.css. So here we have the copy link tag. Let's click on this. Let's come to the VS Code editor and we have the app layout. So I will come to the app.blade.php and here after this bootstrap CSS CDN, I will add this font awesome six. Okay, this is done. Now let's come to the browser and now we can use the font awesome icons. So let's come to the official website of Font Awesome. And from here, we can look at the desired icons. So I will search for the sort. And here, let's click on this free. So in the free section, we have this sort up, sort down. And this is the main sort. Okay. So I will be using these three icons based on condition. So by default, we will have this sort icon on every columns all right but when any sort is activated that means let's suppose if i have clicked on this title sorting then we will have two options either this can be ascending or descending so based on the sort order we will have to show the icon as up and down all right so let's click on this sort icon first and let's copy this html let's come to the vs code and inside this post list blade, I will add the sorting icon after this label. Okay, let's save, come to the browser. Let's try to refresh now. Yes, we have the icon visible now. Now I will wrap this in a span tag. Same thing, we will have to add it for other columns. Okay, this is done. Yes, we have this sorting icon visible. Now we will have to add the click event so that when I will click on this sorting icon, this will activate the sorting for this column. So let's add this here on this span tag. I will add one click event. So I will bind wire colon click. Okay. And here we will have to bind the click function. So I will add one function name as sort by and inside this function, we will have to pass the column name as a parameter so that we can capture the sort column in that function. So this is our featured image. So I will pass featured image. And here I'm passing this column name as I have defined in the database migration. That means in the database column. So based on that, we can apply this column in the eloquent query and through this, this will able to sort that post based on the given column name. Okay. Now let's copy this wire click event and let's add it for others. And in the second column, we have the title. 
so i will change this to title next we have the content and regarding the date if you will see in this field we have displayed created and updated both dates so while sorting we can pass only one field here so i will pass created date so this will be created at caller this is fine and for the action sorting is not required now we will have to copy this function name and let's come to the post list class and inside this i will define this function here at the top so i will write public function sort by and as per the definition of this function we have to capture the parameter so i will capture the parameter as a column name okay let's add dump and die column name okay let's come to the browser now let's refresh now let's try to click on this featured image sorting icon yes we are getting that column name if i will click on title yes i'm getting that title okay and here we will have to add the css just to change this cursor icon so let's change this so inside this post list for the span i will add one css so let's come to the app dot blade and here i will add tr and inside that tr we have the th and then i will tag this span and i will add the property as cursor pointer let's check now yes we have the pointer cursor here okay now let's continue to the sorting functionality so inside this post list class we have captured this column name now we will have to assign this to a public variable so that i can use this column in this fetch post function because currently this is sorted by default as a id and this is in the descending form so we will have to pass the dynamic column name in this order by function so we will have to assign this to a public variable as public dollar sort column and by default i will initialize this with id so if any column is not clicked for the sorting by default this will sort with the id okay and also we will have to set the sort order in descending or ascending so for this again we will have to define one more variable as public sort order and by default i will set this to ascending okay and inside this function i will add one condition to check if the sorting column name is not this column then i will assign that column here in this sort column variable so let's add it i will add if dollar this sort column equal equals this column name this column name is coming from the table header after clicking that sort icon then we will have to assign the sort order so while assigning the sort order we will have to check the current sort order so while assigning the sort order we will have to check the current sort order of this column so i will check if dollar this sort order is ascending then this will be changed to descending else if it is in the descending order then this will be changed to ascending and also we will have to add the else part that means if the sorted column is not the id column then for that we will have to assign the sort column as default column that is coming from the table header and then we will have to keep the sort order as ascending okay this is done now let's come to the fetch post function here we have used this order by function we passed the column name and that sort order so we will have to remove this this is not required now and instead of this we have to pass the column name as dollar this sort column and in the second parameter we will have to pass the order of that sorting so we will pass this sort order yes this is done now let's come to the browser let's refresh by default it is sorted by id now if i will click on this title sorting currently this is sorted in the ascending order so for the better understanding i will update one of the post as 
what's new in live wire 3 data winding i will update so we have the title in the alphabets ordering just like a to z so now let's try to sort here i will click on this sorting we can see the title is sorted in the ascending order based on the alphabets it is in a to g if we will go to the next page we can see w related post title is sorted in the descending form and it is showing as last post okay now again if i will click on this icon the w related post came in the first post so this sorting is working same thing i will click on the title yes we can say this sorted the content as well and also for the featured image we can see this is changing the order of this now let's check for the date column yes this date sorting is working as well so here i will improve one more thing because while clicking on this sort icon this is not clarified this is clicked on the ascending or in the descending order so for this i will add some condition inside this icon so inside this post list blade regarding this icon i will add condition if we have the sort column as public defined here so i will add the condition if sort column is featured image that means if the featured image sorting is activated then we will have to display other icons else by default this will show the default icon as sorting here we will have to add few more icons so let's come to the official website of the font awesome and i will copy this sort up and down so let's copy this first and i will add it here and for this i will add one more condition if sort order is in ascending if sort order equal equals ascending then i will show this up arrow else i will copy that down icon okay and i will add it here yes this is done let's come to the browser let's refresh the application and currently we have added the condition for the featured image column so let's try to click on the sort icon first yes so when i clicked on the sort icon this sorted the featured image in the ascending order and now if i will click on this ascending order you can see this changed the order of this featured image in the descending and now it is showing descending means down arrow icon again if i will click on this you can see now the order has been changed in the ascending order so we have the up arrow visible all right we can see this is working properly and here this is giving a clear sense that this column is sorted here in the ascending or in the descending order now we don't need to check the title or alphabets to make sure this is in ascending or descending order now let's add the same condition for other fields let's copy this if else and let's add it here let's change this column as title same thing we will have to add it for content and date okay let me align this code so i will sort it yes let's come to the browser let's refresh now yes now let's try to click on this title sorting yes this is sorted in the ascending order again if i will click on this icon yes this has sorted in the descending so this is working properly so that's it for this video i hope this video will be helpful to you if you find helpful to this video please don't forget to like this video and also please do subscribe to programming fields for more latest content so thanks for watching see you soon in the next video until then happy coding